and token sport. The Minister for Youth and Sport Development, Sunday Dare, has made case for the implementation of the National Sport Industry Policy that will provide the enabling environment and incentives for grassroots sporting sector to thrive. Dare made this known in a Boja Jarena sport tournament organized for secondary school students across the country. Daniel Okonji completes this report. There's no doubt the Nigeria's sporting sector, especially at the grassroots level, has suffered major setbacks following inadequate funding by stakeholders and the federal government in particular. This has led to lack of incentives and dampened the morale of interested players at local level and in schools. To this end, the Minister for Youth and Sport wants a paradigm shift in the sector. This initiative is highly recommended, uh, both on the part of government, you can see people from the Ministry of Education, the Ministry of Youth and Sports, and also the private sector participate directly in sports. These young ones need education, but they also need scholarship. That's why the IOC, the movement, has been successful because they give thousands and thousands of our young student athletes scholarship. And you see most of them eventually end up at the Olympics. So I think that the policy will provide the right incentives and the right environment for this initiative to try. The main goal here is making sure that while you are participating in sports, that your education does not suffer. Because if it does, when your legs or whatever sport you are involved in can't take you any further, you have your, your education to fall back on. The minister is assuring that he will do everything possible to promote the sector to be the envy of many. You know they are starting early. There are two broad classifications. You have the elite and then you have the amateur. So they have to go through that pipeline. What we have decided to do is that from here we have what we call the talent hunt program, which is handled by my essay on sports Mario Yali. This once we graduate directly into the talent hunt program, which will give them subvention and support for their education and also sponsor them to international competitions or continental com competitions. They, they catch them young. So what Martina is doing with Martina School Game is to catch the young athletes, the future leaders of this country, to catch them young so that they can Presenters be nurtured done for and be brought to them like, um, when, when, when they grow up. The seat of power. I think the reception has been massive, particularly for this edition. A lot of the students were really excited to come out, participate, and get the opportunity to come here to Abuja to perform. If promises by minister is anything to go by, then the sector will witness a tremendous growth for interested parties at local level.